Welcome back, children. And this is week five of The Circus Comes to Calgary. And once again, I just want to thank and introduce our storytellers and volunteers, starting with Joe Wicker, Kathy, Callie, Betty, Mother Lo, Mother Nan, and behind the camera, we have Father Jake. And you know something? I don't think I'm going to take a risk here. And I'm going to say who I think is watching us. I think we've got Ted, and we've got Emmett and Curtis, and Alice and Anna, and Farris and Annie. So there might be other people out there watching, but I just want to welcome you and thank you so much for participating and using the activities that we sent home in conjunction with our stories. It really made us feel very warm hearted, didn't it? Yes. yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So today, our theme is Love Your Neighbor. And it's such a great theme because it ties in all the themes we've had all week. Who remembers which one was week one? God is love, right? God is love. And when we know that we're loved by God, we just kind of start loving like God and seeing where other people might need something that we can help them with. So the next one is sharing the gospel. And one of the best ways to help people is to introduce them to the love of God. And that's what we're doing every year at BBS. How, how many people here actually went to BBS as a child? Okay, so, and how many people have helped out at BBS sometime before in their life? And how many people are new to this whole thing and are totally overwhelmed? <laughs> 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 but you learn quick and add so much joy to our week. So, the point is that Vacation Bible School is a tremendous outpouring of God's love through God's people to help children learn about how they too can be a part of this wonderful Christian community. So, after sharing the gospel, we did listen to God. Noah got to have a great responsibility because he was the only one who was praying and listening to God. And so if you want to be a big helper in God's kingdom, pray, pray and listen. Right? And what we have here? Share resources. So there's so many ways to share that we learned this week. You can share your friendship. You can share things like the cereal that we brought in from the food pantry. And you can share the gospel. And I bet you could come up with some other ways to share as well. Well, listen, I don't want to steal the thunder from the program that Mother Love has planned for us today. So we're going to move on to our first song that we've sung before, Jisoo Jisoo. So go into your activity bags and pull out your song pack. Everybody ready? Let's go. Thank you. 
page. And WNBA will find ways to protest racial inequality. Who knows? I can't stand it, I tell you. I just insist, oh, awful. I mean, you just don't even want it, you know? Okay, what else? Ideas. Oh, good. Ideas are good. Parents may find they are the emergency fund. Oh, often the heart strings will get pulled. I really have to help them, but it can be detrimental to the parent. Boy, you said that. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, you just want to. Mother love, bring on the back these bears needs. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. Oh, this is our local clergy. <gasps> Tests of faith. <gasps> just what we need. A spiritual of awakening. Faith. Oh, dear. We have a responsibility to nurture the spiritual needs of children. Hey, yeah. that's what we're doing here, but man, pandemic and racial unrest. Oh, that's awful. I mean, really, it's just too much. I mean, I don't even. I mean, it's just, you just want to take the whole works and just tear it up. Oh, no. It's, just, oh, no. it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's too much. It's just too much, I'm telling you. I mean, you just want to just take and, you know, take the whole thing and tear it apart. And here's the classified ads. You think we get a little help? with some really good news. I went back as far as 1976. That was in the last century, you know. And we had victory back then. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And then just as, as early as, as 2000, in the, uh, 2008, we had our first African-American president. And if we keep on going up, you won't believe what I found. Corporate church was in the paper. Look at this. Our church was in the paper talking about a place to come that's welcome all. And also, look at even magazines are featuring me. To, in, to, on July 4th, 1976, here we go, the Olympics. Oh. Now, let me see what else I can find. All right. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. a newspaper. Oh, no, 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 no. A sunburned zebra. Oh. oh. What's black and white and red all over? A koala with mosquito bites. Oh. oh. What's black and white and red all over? A piano made out of a redwood. Oh. oh. So you take the closed end, lay it down, 
and start folding a triangle all the way down to the bottom. Doesn't matter if it doesn't exactly fit, because newspaper is very friendly. So then you take the other triangle and fold that down to the bottom. So you can see you've already got the shape. Then you open it up at the open end, and you notice that you have two pieces of newspaper on the back, two pieces of newspaper on the front, and you fold them up. Now this part can get kind of fiddly, and my hat was too big for me, so I folded up a lot. And you know it's funny, newspaper is really strong because it's made out of wood. It's made out of wood. And so, so sometimes you have to kind of squish it a little, but squishing is good. So you fold it up on the other end, and when you open it, you've got a shape. So then, this is the part where you need to tie it down and make sure it stays put. So you've got in your bag, a whole bunch of stickers. And you can use these stickers like you would use tape. You can use it to hold the pieces together. And you can also, like this, I am never going to make a career on YouTube, I can tell. Never say never. <laughs> and then you pull the other end, just kind of squish it down. It'll stay with these stickers on it. Or if you run out of stickers, you can always see if you can find duct tape. You can use duct tape for anything. So then, you've got a shape. And you've got more stickers. Oh, yay, these are animals. So I'm going to just put stickers all over the place. And decorate. And it'll do two things. It'll hold it together and It'll decorate it. You can keep going until you've got it all full of stickers. And so then you should probably try it on to see if it fits. It's pretty good. And you can adjust it any kind of way you want. And if you want to be Napoleon, you can wear it this way. But if you want to be an American revolutionary, you can do it this way, or you can do whatever you like. And the last and final step is you get your feather. Now what I did was I raided my feather duster. These are ostrich feathers. This ostrich lived in Africa, but he came here to North Carolina just for you. So you take another sticker and you decide where you'd like to have your feather. And you can stick it down. And there it is, ready to go.
sisters and your brothers, Jesus' children, keep it up, love and care for others. Hi, everybody. Here we are. We already have our helmet of salvation, right? So now we're going to do the breastplate of righteousness. So we can be real soldiers for God and march in God's army together. Peacefully. Yes. And here's how we're going to do it. And this is special. And this is even kind of your secret. Nobody knows but you what you're going to do. And here's how you're going to do it. Everybody has one of these breastplates of righteousness fuzzy hearts in your bag. It's already made for you by these wonderful people that have been working here all this time. So it's got a fuzzy heart with a cross on it, and on the back, it's got a piece of poster board. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing on it, but this is the part where you come in. So you get your magazine, and you go through it and take the pages out, and find some really great words. Oh, here's a wonderful one. Amor, that means love. I'm gonna cut that one out. So you cut it out, and you take your glue, that your glue stick, and you glue the words on it. What do you have, Captain? I have some liberty, and in there are words that I found like good, share, well done, and we're all in this together. Oh, celebration with cheese, sure. <laughs> so when you get done, you've got your words pasted on, and they're your special words that mean a lot to you. Like on mine, I have Sunday, I have Magnificent, I have Singing Surprise, and I have nothing. That's because I'm going to work on mine right after vacation Bible school today. Oh, right. So you'll have your own special thing, and those special words will be right there next to your heart. And you'll have it so that you're fully armed to be in God's army. Da! Hi, everybody. This is a new song. It's an extra one in your packet, so look for it. We are marching in the light of God. Now this song comes from South Africa, and Jesus, Jesus came from also from Africa, so here we are. And, but we're not going to sing it in African language, we're going to sing it in English and Spanish. Matremos a la luz de Dios. We are marching in the light of God.
Hello children, we're here to tell you about your favorite part of the day, which is what you get in your activity band each week. So this week, as every week, you'll get the Bible story. Remember the story is about loving others as Jesus has loved us. And one of the songs was not in the packet this week. We are marching in the light of God that will also be there. We always had a lesson on how to make one of these fabulous helmets. And so you have your newspaper, just as much as you need, your feather, and your stickers. So if you need help with that, all you need to do is go watch the video again. And we have our shield of righteousness. On the back, you have cardboard. And you can use this magazine and other magazines at home that your parents might let you use to find perfect words for your personal shield. Thank you, Mother Man. Wow, can't wait to get started. Other things in your bag this week are a stained glass cross, comes complete with a marker so you can color it. And if you have some left over from the other week, just add them to it. And it does have a heart in the center of it. Oh, this may be your personal favorite this week. It's in a small bag. Think about small packages. This is a wind chime, and you can also color it. It is a stained glass wind chime, and it'll make sounds in them outside or in your house. We also have a cross this week. You pull off one side of it, and it's sticky, so you don't even need your glue stick. You'll have a bag in there that comes with uh, small pieces of paper to make your stained glass cross. This could be a good bookmark, or maybe something you'd like to send to a friend and tell them you did it in Vacation Bible School at Calvary Church. Also, we have a packet that's got stickers and a picture of a room. You might want to plan before you start, because once these stickers get in the room, it's the Last Supper. And if Jesus isn't there with all his disciples, it'll be a different kind of dinner. So here is this, and we've also included some other pictures in the back. You know, at the Last Supper, we don't really know who was there. So perhaps there were some women. So we've got other pictures in there that you might want to add. And children. And children. And John Deere. Yes. <laughs> oh, here's the picture. Also this week is your comfort bag. Um, I will just say that it is sweet and it will bring you great comfort. Check with mom and dad. Don't try it all at one time. There are lots of choices. And for everyone during just some downtime or just some time, we have some activity sheets. On them, they're word mazes, word finds, and then just some fun color sheets. This would be great to send to a friend at church that you haven't seen in a while. Thank you, Mother. A new friend. To bring a new friend to church. Hmm? Make a friend, be a friend, and bring a friend to Jesus. Have a great day. Hey, children, we just want to thank you so much for sharing your resources and helping out the food pantry here at Calvary by donating boxes of cereal. And we love these Cheerios because they have a heart, some of them have a heart shape. So it reminds us that God is love, God loves us, we love God, and when we love our neighbor, we are loving Jesus. So, cheerio! Cheerio! cheerio.
We'll see you in 2021 for an in-person vacation Bible school. But thank you so much for making our virtual VBS the best one we've ever had. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah.